Hybrid simulations are powerful tools for studying the plasma environments of various solar system objects. In the hybrid approach, protons and other ions are simulated as particles. Their trajectories in the electromagnetic field are calculated individually. Electrons are treated as fluid. The electromagnetic field in turn is calculated from the density and movement of ions and electrons. This video will show examples of Venus simulated with the hybrid code of the Finnish Meteorological Institute. Then we will show how to retrieve planetary simulation data from the hybrid web archive built as part of the IMBEX project. Hybrid simulations are excellent for modeling several different ion species and studying their interaction. Here we see oxygen ions around Venus. Oxygen escapes from the planet's atmosphere and the solar wind drags the planetary ions to form a tail behind the planet. The image is a snapshot from a hybrid simulation run with multiple ion species. The hybrid model can also simulate time-dependent events. Here the solar wind is flowing past Venus and forms a bow shock around the planet. Then, a density enhancement in the solar wind enters and deforms the bow shock, triggering turbulence and instabilities in the plasma. When the solar wind perturbation has passed, after some time the induced magnetosphere returns to a non-disturbed state. A number of simulation runs are available on the hybrid web archive. The archive is available at hwa.fmi.fi. To view and download the data, you first need to register. Now we log in. The archive contains both hybrid simulations and simulations of the Earth's magnetosphere with the GUMIX model. To see the hybrid simulations, we check that the HYB archive is selected. Then we select the object we are interested in, in this case Venus. The run list for Venus has a number of simulation runs with different orientations of the interplanetary magnetic field, which is here expressed as uh, different angles of the solar wind Parker spiral. We choose uh, 40 degrees. In the data file we select which particle population we are interested in. The options in this case are all protons or planetary protons, that is protons originating from the Venus atmosphere and excluding those of the solar wind, or oxygen ions, or finally the sum of all ion populations. Some data files contain the word average or abbreviation AVE in their name. The data in these files are time averages over a short time interval, while the other files contain momentary snapshots. The time averaging reduces particle noise in the results. Let us now select the time averaged proton density. The number in the file name denotes time in milliseconds. To see the final state sol solution, let us choose the last time. The simulation info section shows some basic numerical information on the run. In plot options, we choose the parameter to be plotted. Some abbreviations in the pull-down menu may seem cryptic, but when you choose one, an explanation appears to the right. Let us choose the ion number density. We could also choose limits for the plotting scale, but if these boxes are left empty, the plot scales automatically. In data options, we choose to see the XY plane, and change the z-coordinate of the plane to be half a planetary radius above the center of the planet. Then press plot data. Solar wind is coming in from the right. The dense bow shock is clearly distinguishable in red and yellow, while the low density wake of the planet is dark blue. Note the hemispheric asymmetry in the y-direction, which is due to the oblique interplanetary magnetic field. When we have found data that looks interesting, we can download it for further analysis. To do that, press Go to Data download page. 
Here we can choose the variables to be included in the download file. In addition to number density, let us take magnetic field components and proton larmor radius and then press download and save the file. After uncompressing, the data file is in plain text format. In the beginning, there is some basic information on the simulation run. The last comment line is a key to the, da to the data. The first three columns give the coordinates of a data point, and the following columns contain the values of those variables that we requested. All the data are in SI units. In this case, coordinate values and Larmor radius in meters and the magnetic field in teslas. In addition to Venus, the hybrid web archive contains simulations for other solar system planets, moons and even comets. So, choose your favorite object and have a fun with the simulation data. For more information on the hybrid model, equations, examples and references, see this web address.